welcome welcome viewers and subscribers to the river bay beach river bay road fishing beach yes this is the entrance right here rastaman when we speak about life life is natural yes i am we're talking about nature nature take course mankind cannot stop it see and that's what's happening right now and that's what happened right now this man we come out yesterday we leave everything we're all right no we come out this morning what we see happen nature controlling course where we got to do adjust yourself away and how far can we go from nature Not we too only far. can go as far as we can till nature decide what he decide to do Blessings so here where people do not they only study not even the government do even understand all these things you know yeah scientists do even can read god plan yes but man do not understand about life life always continue and we go and come Blessings. viewers and subscribers we're now walking over to the beach where the river bay fishing fisher folks make their living the sea conditions are bad really really bad and my understanding is that the number of fisher folks uh, are now trying to see if they can salvage what's left of some of their boats engines were lost at sea as a result of this bad weather that i'm referring to I am walking around to the beach now to take a closer look at what is it that they're doing to try and secure their livelihood, their boats, their nets, fish pots, you name it. And my understanding is the phone call I receive is that they're trying to secure everything they can right now. And it has to be a cohesive effort. It has to be teamwork uh, to try and secure their vessel. So let me take it to the beach now so we can take a closer look at what's happening on the beach. Viewers and subscribers, I ensure Leather Belt captures just about everything that makes sense, and this makes sense. Look at the ocean today. Look, 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 and look at this. Look at the ocean today. I am presently at the River Bay Fishing Beach. The ship made an attempt to come in to the port, had to turn back. A ship, we're talking about a passenger ship. There are two of them out there right now. Uh, would love to come into the port, would love to come into the dock over there but based on the swells that are coming into shore they've decided to stay out in the open this is what is happening at the river bay beach right now look at this Lots of damages being done to fishing boats. This is their livelihood. Fishermen are seeing up and down the beach right now trying to secure the vessel. They were warned. I can say this. I can't speak fear for everybody, but most of them were warned of this. Look at the sea conditions. This is between eight and ten foot seas. All these boats should have been pulled up all the way up on the beach. I, am, I, I would want to assume, and you should never assume, especially in the media house, that a lot of fishermen would have been caught off guard. 
Beach. Now, this here is what you call the life of a fisherman, experiencing the risk associated with owning a boat here on the north coast. Look at this. This boat came up on the beach as a result of the big waves. And when we say big waves, that's what we're talking about right over there. The average person in Jamaica is between five and six feet. We're talking about 10 foot seas. So the swells, the waves are as high as 10 feet on average. That's what they're experiencing right now with wind factor up to 25, 30 miles an hour blowing. The life of a fisherman, the risk associated with being in the fishing industry. Millions of dollars you're looking at right here down the beach. Damages to both boats and engines. The fisher folks are saying in the past 20 years they have not seen waves and wind condition like this at the beach. So this is a big surprise for most. A cruise line slowly, it looks like Tui based on the uh, logo I'm seeing up top right there. Uh, the company Tui, the ship is slowly trying to navigate its way into the harbor here in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Iron Shoulder the Belt is filming it whilst covering uh, the rough conditions, sea conditions and with fishermen still trying to uh, remove excess water from their vessels. This is O'Neill, one of the local fishermen here at the beach. O'Neill, yeah. how are you doing this morning? Good. Is your boat secured? Yes. You secure your boat from yesterday? Yes. Okay. You knew, somebody told you that the sea was going to get rough. Yes. So you prepare, you, you, you prepare yourself by making sure yes. your, your boat is safe. Yes. What about your net? Oh, net to water south. Full of grass. Yeah, so why didn't you take the net out? Let me put a piece of fire. Oh, the sea came up further than you, you expected it would? Yeah. All right. So next time somebody tell you that the sea is going to get rough, yeah. you'll even go further up? Further up. Okay, big boss. Yeah. Have a great day, big boss. They're trying to secure one of the fiberglass boats. This is over $2 million in value. A good Samaritan. This is one fisherman using his truck to secure as much boats as he possibly can. This is good team spirit. All the fishermen coming together and assisting. Careful, careful, nice and easy. Even a female right here in the green cap is seen assisting as they're trying to secure the boats, bringing them further away from the waterfront on land. This is no joke, they're really uniting. Save the boats here on the beach and this is a really, really good thing. Each person on the beach you understand what it is to ensure that the vessels are secured. Mind you, it's a little bit late, but it's better to be late than never. They're doing their best right now with limited resources to secure all vessels. And the sad thing is that, uh, well not the sad thing, the owner for that vessel that they're securing is not here on the beach right now and they're doing the right thing by helping to secure his vessel. I am 
really, really impressed, truly impressed with their actions. A small gully adjacent to the River Bay Road fishing beach. And uh, this is as a result of a boat that capsized earlier. What you're seeing here are life jackets, very expensive and new life jackets, type two life jackets floating away. Look at this, look at this. From where I'm standing, I can even see life rafts on either side. There it is, I'm not making up stories. A 10 person life raft is there and further down, there's another raft on the side of the little gully. Look, look, look at this. This is as a result of a boat that capsized earlier. The life of a fisherman, it's not easy. Two or three times each year, this is what they have to go through. Persons will beg the question whether or not they have uh, the medium to tell them when the sea is getting rough. They do. <laughs> With climate change, sometimes uh, they underestimate the power of God. <laughs> and as a result, this is usually the end result. Caught flat-footed. Caught off guard. Wait for the wave, wait for the wave, wait for the wave. Yeah, wait for the wave coming and then just ride with it. Within two hours, lots of sand and water in this one right here. So they're trying to get all the excess sand out of the boat before they can pull it further up on the beach. There's another one just right in front of it right there. They're trying to pull up that one right now to a safe area in the event the sea gets worse or worse than it is right now. All right, they're trying to secure one more. Careful, careful. Protecting your investment. That's what they're doing right now. Protecting their investment. In case you're wondering what's this, these are life jackets, life rafts that walk, I mean, they were washed ashore as a result of what I understand is a boat that overturned earlier. 
that's a life raft. Let me zoom in a little closer on it. The maritime laws here in Jamaica and in most countries, depending on the size vessel, will require that based on the size vessel, the boat has life rafts on it. Those are life rafts. You're looking at one there. There's another one way over there. And uh, the little red things that you're looking at, those are type two life jackets. Lots of them all over the coastline. Now, what is happening out there? Look at this. Rough seas. This is bad, bad weather here in Jamaica. Montego Bay, Jamaica. And the entire North Coast should be experiencing this right now. It's raining and it's windy like crazy. These are between 8 to 12 foot seas. The weather condition is bad. Right next door to where I'm standing is the Montego Bay, River Bay Beach. And that's it over there. We will zoom in a little closer so you can see what's happening over there. Lots of boats are capsized. Engines fell off in the water. It is just crazy. A crazy day for fishermen. A crazy day here in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It is my understanding that the restaurant over there suffered great loss. I will take a trip over there so we can film some of the things that are happening over on that side. There are still a few vessels that are in the water nicely secured anchored moored properly we will zoom in on that in a minute but for right now let's just look at this high seas rough seas there's another raft floating out there It is not hurricane season. However, we're in the month of February and occasionally every few years, they get rough seas like the one they're experiencing right now. The real experienced fisher folks, when they suspect or able to, and they are able to monitor the weather conditions, they will bring their fish traps to shore days before bad weather hits. This is one fisherman that I spoke to earlier on who brought in 10 of his traps for safety because with rough seas like what we're experiencing right now if traps like this and this if you should put a cost on it for the material to build will run you at least 18 to 20 thousand dollars jamaican that is and if this trap is caught out there in the rough seas he will lose it so hence the smart thing to do is bring your traps to shore when you know for sure you're getting bad weather coming in the last time they said they saw something like this was probably about 20 years ago. Pier one. Pier one are good again. <laughs> Crazy. Beautiful lady passing through the beach, just holding her vibes, assisting any way she can. Have a great day, princess. of Norway. Everybody's starting to take this real serious now. Everybody coming together to see if they can bring their boats closer to shore. Viewers and subscribers, we just caught up with one of the local fishermen around here. Mind you, he has many, many talents. He has a lot of trade, but fishing is one of the things that he does. General. Yeah. 
I like the you I like me like the unity do everybody come together and I try to assist. Yeah. Everybody I try to help they want it like I see rough. General, as a fisherman, is it the first time you see it like this? Yeah, man, first. I've been here like three years now, the fishing, or four years. And I first, this is something like this. Never seen nothing like this again. All right. Blessings, my brother. Respect yeah, man, to the box. Yeah, man, respect, people. Every time. And I'm tuning in for the camera and everything. Ah, uh, uh, mad, mad move. Iron show a little bit of covering. Okay, so they're going to make an attempt. Let me get out of the way. I need to get out of the way as they make an attempt to get this out. And unity is strength and I know they can do it. I know they can do it. And the process has begun. Move, 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 move from there, Nigel! An engine like this one here is over a million Jamaican dollars. Four stroke fuel efficient. Persons will argue that fish is expensive. So are the equipment that they're fishing with. Like I said, they're uniting for the betterment of uh, their vessel. General, your boat secure already? I have to protect your interest. Yeah, me like all of the money you unite this money and get them things out. Yeah, Sila. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Nobody. Okay. He's referring to the one right here. This is the only one out now that probably need to bring up right now because. They've united and all the boats are up, and up in a safe area right now. Respect to the Max, doing a great job. Sure. Nice, yeah, nice, already, you know, nice, nice, yeah, nice, 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 Wow. Uh, left, we have to go left, yes, sir. Remember that. Yeah. Wow. No. Yep. How much per pound for fish now, Big Boss? Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred per pound for fish right now. Like I said, fish is expensive. But so are the equipment that they use. You're joking. Somebody told you that, are you actually. Yeah. yeah. Roughly, how long ago was that? A year before last. And it's good I gone So it has to be over 2000 per pound right now. When you have millions invested in the fishing industry you have to protect your interests and uh, this group is doing just this, just doing the, uh, the, the right protecting their equipment protecting their investment so a wrecker was brought in to assist with taking the boat to a safe area safe harbor
owner for this vessel decided to take it even further inland. This is Cliffy, one of the local fishermen here at the fishing beach. Cliffy, how are you doing? I'm so fine. I awesome. You. Awesome. Ah, uh, you secure your boat already, my brother? Yes, sir, I secure your boat. And, you know, there's several more boats here. There's several more boats, you know, we have to we have a push up and, yeah. and take care of who is here and who is not here. So, you know, when it was this time, we have to have a perfect togetherness. Look you over the flag and one another. When it is to this time, everyone has to come together. And I, re boat. I really appreciate that, and I saw it. it was very evident that all of the money will not talk with each other. Them come together. Not that we have a lot of that down on the beach here, but they come together and assist and pull up every boat out of the water. That was a good thing. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. General. And it's so nice. Yes, sir. General, it's a good but feeling. More respect. Yes, sir. I'm glad there was no loss of life, which is most most important. So, sure. <laughs> right, re re respect, Rastaman. Thank you, sir. Ah. You, you secure your boat already, big boss. My boat alright. And your your brother boat secure too. You make sure you secure it every time. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to go with them, I'll not this at sea. You have to make sure you're in a river mode. Okay, boss. Alright. So it's fair to say most of the boats are secure now, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, big boss. Baga! Yes, sir. Foundation fisherman for many, many years. Yes. Yeah. Not 10 years or 12 years. Whole heap of years. About 50 years as a fisherman. Yes. When was the last time you see a weather like what I'm against right now? Most 20 years. 20 years. <coughs> More than 20 years. More than 20 years. So as a result, it catch most of the people on as a flat footing. Yes, yes. 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 Because yesterday the water was nice and calm. Just the breeze when I blow yesterday. Just the breeze and it calmed down. I like a freak thing come up last night and it go back down. Yes. But right now, everybody. Surprise. Right now, I took 10. Yeah. And I come the weather just a come, just a reach. Right? Yeah, them, them feet are reaching or reaching. It's just, just, just a forward. <laughs> Jaja. Ja. Ja. If you're fast through the fisherman beach down there, so, this general, the best fried fish, the best uh, fried fish, the best um, fried salt fish, yes. anything from the sea. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Check bagger. No, if there was one person to get an award for the good work done at today, who will you, who you give the award to? Kojo. Kojo, help everybody. Me know you don't like camera thing, but who you say that big up? Kojo. Kojo, the real man. General, who you, no, who you say that big up? Kojo. Kojo, help everybody. The two last The two last and not just today, the last time we have rough sea. Kojo same way. Yeah, Kojo same way. Blessings. Every sea, every rough sea are Kojo. Every rough sea are Kojo. Once in forward. Yeah, once in. Can you have more? Before we reach time, everybody the ball running out. So where Kojo there? Kojo in there. Yeah, yeah. At least in come. Kojo come, come see him. Kojo help you to look nice lady. So if coach, if coach, if coach, if, if they were supposed to give a award to somebody down here, coach would be the person with them give a award for assist. Yes, yes. Blessings. Oh, the MP need to forward down and out. Okay. Can hold up a boat mash up. As you can see, hold for help. Come for outside. Blessings. General, General, as a foundation fisherman, you have come down you don't have for years. Years. When was the last time you see weather like this? Weather like this is about 20, 20 odd years now. 20 some years. Uh, yeah. yeah. And 20 some years now, we don't know weather like this. Like this. Where is it? 20 some years. 20 some years, we don't know weather like this. The last weather we see near to this, I will appear on, when it will appear on, watch you come over here. But it never damage over here, so like this. But it never damage over here, so like now. And because you need a Grammy for this. Blessings. If all money in your top, you pull up them bones. Yeah, all, all enemies, them. All the enemies, them, I have. You pull up them bones. Bless you. Good heart, good heart, good heart. Blessings, my brother. It's a love with what we miss you really have this morning. Yes, you could believe that they unite so much. Unite. You put everything as you can see. Over the right now, everybody feels feel good now that they're both secure. Because water rich. As, as far as most of the land. Okay, the gentleman is saying water came up so far in the land, I can't believe. Let, let, let me show you what he's talking about. Look, 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 look over here, look over here. This is not as a result of rainfall. This is ocean water coming all the way. All the way. Look, look at this. 
Rasta man, yeah. blessing man, my brother. Yes, With the Pan Beach, and we know he's a foundation, foundation fisherman. Yeah. You are fishing down for roughly about two much years now. Oh, 25 years. About 25 years. Yeah. In the 25 years, you are fishing down as so. Have you ever seen any weather like this down as so? No, no, no weather like this. First time. First time. And based on what you understand, it's gonna get even worse. Yeah. Well, why? You know what going on, but anything that it near sure, you gonna move. And next question, I gonna ask you. A whole heap of fishermen down as so, saying, a whole heap of people up on the beach. Mm. Who would you say, if it wasn't for him, a whole heap more boats would have mashed down as so? Which man helped them you figure the most? Well, no, the man with the unit. But that which one that now? Kojo. Kojo? Yeah. So Kojo are the man today? Kojo, Kojo with the unit, Kojo for the big machine to take them around. Because without Kojo vehicle, that's a problem. Yeah, because for last night, they didn't pull up boats. Don't yeah, but don't most of them never pull up far enough. No, them, they, they, they think they pull up far enough, but they never pull up nowhere before. Because we don't ever expect this it's kind of weather. Tire, right, sir. People, look out and see, this is what we are talking about. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. Crazy, 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 crazy breeze. High seas. Respect Rastaman. Ah. Viewers and subscribers, we just caught up with one of the fishermen at the fishing beach here at River Bay Road Fishing Village. Now, with the weather that we've been discussing and talking about, this gentleman is going to tell us in a nutshell what happened and what he thinks it will cost to replace all the things that he has lost as a result of the bad weather. Johnny, how are you doing, my brother? Give thanks to life. Uh, the weather we're experiencing right now, in all fairness, you've been fishing down at this beach for many, many years. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, this is the worst one so far I've ever seen. I've never seen none before, I've never heard about none after. What's the name of the vessel, your vessel? Uh, Determine. Determine. RB326. RB326. Now, in a nutshell, if you were to put a dollar figure, a cost to what you lost as a result? What, what kind of money we're looking at? We're talking about your fishing gears. Fishing and gears, line, and everything, and I cost look over six hundred thousand. Easily. Easily. Wow. What happened? What happened? Tell, tell me what happened. I mean, a lot of persons um, lost valuables, engines, you name it. What really happened? All right. I'm more than I can speak of you know because most of the time we look on a look over the podcast and. For the hardest one so far, we never expect we'd have something like this. A disaster us. Next Everybody down here knew that the weather was going to be bad, but they did not. No one thought it would have be. experienced this type of weather. Like you said. Last night about 10.30, yeah. the sea was normal, calm, and during the time about like 5 to 5.30, I feel a different pressure of wind. So I said, no, I'm going to check. And so I go on. And when we come and see the boat, I flip, overturn, overturn, and many other times. And so far, I'm a livelihood at the only source. And I have three children at the present now. I have a In cancer school. school today to give me the assistance to get back the boat up on the beach. Just the yeah. I mean, with other fisher folks who assist me. With other fisher folks, as we assist one another. Very good. Awesome, my brother. Well, guess what? Um, the powers that be, I'm sure they'll be passing through to the beach and the beach area. We have videos and we have photographs. So persons that are not making up stories, they can see for themselves exactly what really, really transpired here. Now, it's coming from uh, Negril's side. So I'm, I'm thinking that Negril is going to be badly affected too. Yeah. The most important... Is that now it's wind? I brought about 35 to 40 kilometers, that's what I push to see. We have right up to 7 to 10 feet, inshore. Wow, oh, crazy. I'm sure we're up about 15 to 20 feet as well. Outside? Outside. General, it's a pleasure talking to you. We wish, we wish you and your family all the best. The greatest thing, you know, we don't have to last no life. That's a, life a, yeah, life. you have to give God thanks to that, yeah? Right. Respect, my brother. Good morning, uh, my name is Richard Bowen, I'm the chairman for the Manager Bay Fisherman's Club. And um, the red flag signifies um, let the fishermen know that they're going to see this danger and as you can see the weather is really, really extreme. Um, we have up to maybe about 15 to 20 feet seas 
waves coming over, so um, we had to pull up all the boats and stuff on the shoreline. And the sea is coming further. Oh, a roll of wire, fishing wire, can reach you anywhere from eighteen to thirty thousand dollars. That does not include paying somebody to make a fish trap or buying the actual wire that you need to do to do so. So, like as I said, the average fisherman down here have between anywhere between twenty and thirty fish traps. Now, fish is expensive as we speak. Fish is a thousand dollars per pound, but you can't outweigh the cost for the repair for the loss that they've, they've suffered. I mean. I don't know who's going to be assisting them, but hopefully it's a lot of money for them to be I mean, compensated for this year. Are there any fishermen when they Luckily, no, based on what I know. I mean, I've spoken to most of the fishermen on the beach this morning. What about communication? Communication. Getting information. Uh, I would say most of them were aware, but what we're experiencing right now for the past 25, 30 years, we have not seen anything like this. We have gone through many hurricane seasons um, over the past 25, 30 years. But what we're seeing right here, um, nothing like this. It is uh, northwest, it's coming from the Negro side. I saw videos of what, uh, what is happening in Negro as we speak. But this year, even though it's coming from Negro, this appears to be a lot worse than what Negro fisher folks are experiencing right now. This is based on video footages that I saw earlier. Fisherman Cooperative, any word overall? Um, we have to do an assessment, um, speak to indiv individual fisher folks and as I said we probably need to provide a data for fisheries because if there's any compensation then the data will show uh, the average amount of fish traps a person's lost during this uh, bad weather. People are calling it a freak storm. Um, most of the fisher folks down here as I said were aware um, that we're having a weather but not to this magnitude. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm I'm the Look at my this is this is this is like gold because the sea is going Look to be rough. The sea is going to be rough for the next four or five days, and as a result, then See fish becomes fish becomes really really scarce. Some people say swimmers. I don't give um I don't give fish other name apart from what I know it as fish, fish, fish from out of yeah, fish out of the ocean. I don't know swim around. Yeah man, no swim around. I know fish. I always say fish. That's yes. the thing that we do naturally. We sell fish. So, when we don't sell fish, people sell fish, but we sell seafood. Blessings general. And some call it simarong, but we deal with scale. And earth is natural. Man should be just like the universe. And they just give away. But we just feel like Bob Marley. Bob Marley never give up. And we never stop fighting. Blessings, we don't need I no am. gun and we don't need nobody to help you. How much a pound for fish now, my brother, these days? We only sell it for $1,300 now. And how much, how, much, how, much, how much per pound to scale? Uh, uh -huh. We pay 150 a pound for scale. Depends. 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 One second, let me just make sure we understand. So when persons come by... It's really expensive now. Okay. You're saying per pound, it's 150 to scale depending on the type of um, fish. So let's say a person no, has a no, good... No, no, depending okay. on the type of fish. Okay. If you're scaling alone 150. Good. If you're scaling and trimming up the fish or is a fish where we have to slice up 200. Oh, per pound? Yes. Blessings general. Bone book in a finger make your home flick. A serious business. Any fish bone going on the finger problem yeah, because you'll, like you'll, 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 be out, you'll, you'll be out, out, out of business for a while because yeah, you need the fingers like to work. Gymnastic. We're not even referring to the lionfish. A river mama will scale everything. <laughs> Yeah. When them come see a, a seller, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. General, as you approach the fishing beach, this is the yeah. general. Most people yeah. call him Percy. Shango. Otherwise, Shango, the yeah. general. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Blessings, yeah. general. Uh, the grouper, yeah, man, you pay oh. big bucks for this. Nice. Nice and uh, sweet, you know. Yes. You want to have your filet or just scale and it's how much it's per pound to scale um, how much per pound to scale fish these days 150 per pound nice and clean when you're finished with it all you need to do take it take it home and just some vinegar uh lemon or lime whatever you want to use and you're ready to go nice and clean and he's right at the entrance to the fishing beach and when i say right at the entrance the entrance is entrance is just right over there and if you want to meet <laughs> if you want to meet the scaler yeah nigel the general 
Drink blessings, my brother. Just cool, man. Drink me You're not drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> drinking and scaling. I drink and work. Blessings, Aya. You know, so you have to make money in Aya with that, Blessings, boss. Have any weather out, you have still out. Still out and hunting and stunting. Yeah. In the life of a local fisherman. These are just some of the tools that I use on a daily basis to go out and kill fish.